Every year since the September 11th terrorist attacks, America's 911 Foundation has honored the nation's heroes with its annual motorcycle ride. Throughout the ride, they visit the 9-11 crash cities, raising money for scholarships for the children of our active first responders. And we're joined now by Roger Flick and Eric and Lexi Sure Seth from America's 911 Foundation. I'll start with you, Lexi. What does this ride mean to you? Oh, wow, that's a great question. Uh, this ride means a lot to me. I grew up in this. My family started this the November of 2001 when they and 300 bikers rallied in front of the U.S. White House and proceeded back to New York City. And we've done it every year since. And so I grew up in this. And I'm 23 now, and I have an understanding that most girls my age don't have. Yeah, it's very true. And so, Eric, uh, describe for us, I guess, how you raise Lexi. You guys do what every year on your motorcycles? Well, oddly enough, I'm the only gentleman on the ride that doesn't ride a motorcycle. My ride's an F-350 because if anybody breaks down, we don't leave them behind. We pick them up. We keep them in the ride. We got mechanics riding in the ride. We get them fixed. And so it's all about supporting all the first responders that we have representative here. Yeah. And it's just an amazing, amazing thing to remember and honor the 9-11 victims and heroes. Absolutely. You stop at all those sites, even go through Todd Beaver's hometown. I was reading yes. I mean, people that one of the flight attendants that was on it's that flight as well. Very emotional going it, through that town. It must be. And Roger, talk to us about the 911 Foundation, what you guys do. Well, we support first responders. Uh, we do that with a college scholarship program for active first responders. We give away uh, 15 dollars $2,000 scholarships a year. The more money we raise, the more scholarships we can hand out. And uh, we also uh, award one of our police officers' departments uh, a police motorcycle for their work in, in coming to keep us and all the other motors on the highway safe. Nice. It's amazing how sharp everyone looks. We were inside seeing the shot from up above, and it was just amazing. Lexi, I think you bring up such a great point. It, people may watching may assume that children are being taught about 9-11 in their schools, they're and they're not. Um, how much is the awareness, um, and, and what is the reaction from other young people to what you are doing? So, so that's a great question. I mean, of course, I mean, I went to a school where in high school it was mentioned, but never really dived into. Right. And then I went to college, and I studied foreign affairs, so of course we talked about it at length. Um, but the average 23-year-old, oh yeah, that happened. Yeah. But to me, it's very real. You know, I've met people who survived the towers, first responders to Flight 93, you know, family members aboard Flight 93, first responders to the Pentagon. Those people are like my family. I mean, all of these officers around here, they're my family. I've grown up with them. They, they've literally watched me grow up. And, you know, all these, their stories have become my stories. And that's why we do what we do, to never forget. It's a beautiful image forget. on your television screen right now. Look at that. Uh, I don't know how many bikes that is out here this morning on Fox Square. but We got uh, about 37 police officers, which is less than half of the escorting officers we had this year. Oh, beautiful. We had 87 officers from over 35 jurisdictions escort the ride from all three crash sites. And just to mention, uh, you know, on the foundation trailer that you took a shot of, on the other side is the 2,977 names of the victims and heroes of 9-11. And as we travel around the country with that trailer, I am introduced to people that know people on there. And that's what our goal is. As long as we know about these people and can talk about them, then they'll never be forgotten. They may be gone, but they'll never be forgotten. Absolutely. We certainly appreciate everything you guys have done. Remember. Appreciate all of you guys back here so much. Thank you, guys. Uh, you, by I the way, can show your appreciation at America's 911foundation.org. Uh, Roger, Eric, Lexi, thank you thank guys so I, much. I would also like to thank all the chiefs that were responsible for allowing their officers to come yes. and join us. <laughs> <There you> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And a, and a shout out to this year's department, Parma, Ohio, that won the new bike. Uh, there we go. There you go. Nice. They were actually a rookie department. Their chief is with them, came Beautiful. with them to make sure they behaved and all that, and they won the bike. So. <laughs> all right, thank you guys again. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.